It has been said that Joan Rivers is the funniest woman on the planet. How can you not find Osama? He's on dialysis. There is one outlet in all of Afghanistan. Find the plug and follow the clue. That's it. Now you're going to see this force of nature as never before in Joan Rivers, a piece of work, a year in the life of a semi-legend, a documentary getting love letter reviews. Rolling Stone sums it up in three words, Rivers rocks it. And Joan Rivers is here to rock our morning, ladies and gentlemen. So nice to see you. And it is so great that it's getting these love letter reviews because we didn't expect it. You didn't? Well, you know, you do a little documentary. You have no idea. And you have no idea. And we took it to Sundance and everybody's very full, full, full at Sundance, <laughs> you know, and serious. And we showed it and they just went nuts. We got all the awards. So it's twice as nice when you don't expect yeah. something. I want to read one of the reviews. Roger Ebert, we all know Roger, of course. He said, quote, of the film, one of the most truthful documentaries about show business I've ever seen, also maybe the funniest. Isn't that... And you said you consider yourself an outsider. Totally. So, so when you get this kind of reaction to your it's, life story... It's great. It's great, because I can share it with my elevator man. <laughs> <laughs> he likes to hear that. I have, my elevator man is always the first when there's a bad review to say, I'm sorry. And you go, oh, Joe, please, oh. just take me up. You know, why, I don't did you just, why did you decide to do this? Because it's, I'm telling you, it's raw. Yeah. It's revealing. Yeah. I mean, you, you're out there. But it was t I was, I'm 77 years old. Oh, oh Joe, no. oh, oh. People applaud like it's a good thing. It sucks. No. I mean, it's like, ugh, she's 77, ugh, and you smell. I hate old people. So, <laughs> um, and I just thought, if they're going to do it, let's really show what it's like to work in our business and be older mm -hmm. and work, have to work to keep up and all the barriers that hit you because you get older. And they came to me and said, you want to do it? I said, sure. 14 months every day they followed me around with the camera. Every day you Every had that day. camera. And I'm telling you, when you see this film, there's nothing that's held back. Nothing. You don't you don't feel you've even peaked yet. No. No. Carol Burnett's my good friend. Mm -hmm. And we always see each other. I always say to her, You've peaked. Because I know something better is coming, but it's my whole life. I'm a tremendous optimist. I always mm -hmm. think the next thing's gonna be the better thing. And that's how mm -hmm. I get through the bad times. By yeah. saying this will pass. Because something really good as I always say to Melissa, um, your life is a movie. You can either make it a tragedy or a comedy. Mm. So let's start laughing that everything has gone down the tubes. Ha, 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 ha. Yeah. <laughs> you gotta laugh. You've had, you've had some rough times, oh, which you, which you yeah. share with us. Tremendous But it times. all goes back to the joke about making people laugh. And this is, I want to play a little bit more from the documentary because it's all about the epicenter being the joke. Here it is. These are all my jokes. These are jokes over the last... 30 years. These are just, every time I, I write a joke, I try to remember to get it on a card. Why should a woman cook so her husband can say, my wife makes a delicious cake to some hooker? <laughs> and you wonder why I'm still working at this age. <laughs> I love when you make yourself laugh, which you yeah. often do, uh, do in the film. But you know, what makes you laugh now? Oh. Everything, you know, what I mean my thighs. I thought I thought I should call I took a look at my body the other day I said never mind sex in the city. I should call this movie sag in the city And I just laughed and laughed and laughed at that um, Everything I just had weekend guests at my house and I was in the kitchen And you know when you say that what do you want to drink? Uh -huh. Well, I want this and should I have that? And I, I said, oh screw it. Everyone gets liquid paper. I mean, it's, 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 you just laugh at anything that happens. It makes it easier for makes you. Makes it easier. A little lick of paper like that. But you are also very honest when talking about... Plastic surgery, of course. Now, how'd you know I was going there? Because I, I know where they all go. Yeah, but... I knew because you're so pretty. I knew you were going to ask Oh, bless that. your heart. Yeah. Bless your heart for saying that. Yeah. And, and, but, but the thing is, when, and, and when you talk... Can we play a little bit of a clip? Because I want to hear it in Joan's words, what she talked about in the film. It's the one mountain that you can't overcome. I started with the plastic surgery, then I became the poster girl for it, and then I became the joker. But it, you know what it is? It's like everything else. Uh, everyone lies. In California, they stand there 
and they are going to the bathroom through their ears and they say, I've done nothing. And you go, how stupid. You know what I'm talking about. How many women have sat here and talked to you and you can see the stitches and the little knots in their hair? And so I was the first one to come out and say, I'm doing it. And I'm so glad. Let some lady in Iowa who doesn't like her nose fix it and be happier. Now, are you happier? No. <laughs> But no, but that's you, yeah. you said you've never felt attractive? Never, but you oh. know, I look in the mirror and I say I look good for my age. And that's nice. That's all you want to do is not mm -hmm. go, Ugh. I don't want to walk in the kitchen and have the dog throw up in the morning. <laughs> that's like not good. Um, and that's what plastic surgery is about, is making mm -hmm. you feel good about yourself. And do you feel good about yourself when you see your film? Do you like the woman that you see on screen? I'm not talking about the, the appearance, but I'm talking about, you know, the whole package. I don't you are. know. I, I'm such a workaholic. My, my uh, How'd You Get So Rich, which mm -hmm. is our, our final episode, is tomorrow night, Wednesday night. I work so hard on everything that I never really get a chance to enjoy it. Does that make sense? Yeah. You but know, don't do that. You but, should. But Why? Then, because this business, you have to work hard. Everybody, you, you've got to work hard. To, to push forward. America is such a lucky country, and I'm not being mm -hmm. cutesy wootsy. Mm -hmm. We can do anything in this country, but you've got to work for it. You can't say, oh, oh, screw you. Get up and go to work. You know what I mean? I'm a big one for moving ahead. And you have stayed hungry all these years. All these you years. feel that you still have to fight, and you still, and I love how you're like, don't call me a legend, don't call me an icon. You're like, you're still in the game, I'm and you don't want people to feel like, oh, I'm, I'm in the game, past you. and I can still take you. You know, okay. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Yeah. It's a big difference. All the young comedians come over and say, "Oh, we want to thank you for nothing." Whack! Watch me now. You know. You still have it going. Is this some of your, your Joan jewelry? River jewelry yeah. QVC? Joan River's jacket QVC. And then you have with Melissa. You have a Melissa. The... And I have a new show uh, called uh, Mother Knows Best in December. Life is very good. No, no, e, no, no, we're doing the fashion mm -hmm. news. Life. And if you don't know when life is good, you're an idiot. You know. No, when life is good. And life is good for you right life now? Life is okay for me now. Oh, I'm glad to hear I'm, that. I have a clean diaper on. I am set. <laughs> I'm very happy. <laughs> Joan Rivers, ladies and gentlemen. I'm so happy. What a pleasure talking with you. It's so good talking with you. You have got to see this film.